when you graduated from fourth grade, you guys had this Mentos explosion, and we explained that on the t on the uh, the the pits on the Mentos were kind of like the wrinkles in your brain, you know. And the teachers give you more wrinkles in your brain, and it just means that you've got a, a greater explosion. And and I was thinking about you going to middle school, and, and I thought of a couple of things. The first thing I thought of is this. This uh, I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but this is one of these cool little chaos balls. Have you ever seen that before? There are millions and millions of pieces of titanium dioxide in here, and when you drop it here on the ground and you mess it around, it just is chaos. And this is kind of what happens to your life when you go to middle school. It's called chaos, right? You don't believe that, but look at all these people here. They know it to be true, all right? This is chaos, and chaos is not a bad thing. It always happens. Scientists call it entropy, and it happens all around us. This, ladies and gentlemen, is chaos. And that's what I was thinking about uh, a little bit while you, were, uh, while you were getting ready to graduate. And it was just a little toy that I grabbed onto. Ms. Klaus, I'm going to roll this to you. That'll be yours. The other thing I was thinking about was um, kind of you and launching you to middle school. We always tell you that we're going to launch you off to middle school, that this is your foundation and, and this is your launching pad and you're going to go to great places. Well, I was kind of thinking about that and I thought, what would it really look like if we really launched you to middle school? What would it really look like? So here's what we did. Last week, so the parents know, um, we took all these ping pong balls and we asked them to put their names on all these ping pong balls. So we have every student represented with a ping pong ball. So here's what I was thinking was, this is Wilder Elementary and you guys are the leaders and so you're kind of sitting here and this is pretty good, but that's not middle school. Middle school looks something like this. So that's a mess. And in fact, you've got a lot more room to move around when you're in middle school, which is kind of a cool thing as well. But middle school is a little bit different than that as well. So, hey, Jeff, would you help me out with this? Would you help me grab this piece? Let's just lift this top off, and you can take it right back over there. All right, so in middle school, you have something else. You have this. In middle school, you have new friends. So that's these people right here. And you've got other friends. And you've got another core. And there are seventh graders. And then there are eighth graders. We got about that, and then there are your parents. Yep. And then you got all those teachers that you liked a lot. There are those. And now all of a sudden, that's a mess. Look at that. You are one of about I don't know 600, five, 600. But you forget on top of that, you've got all these other friends that are there. So and that looks like this. Perfect, all right? That represents about 2,000 people, all right? So when you launch yourself to middle school, here's the problem. It's chaotic. It's crazy. It's like these falling on the ground. you got to go find yourself. And the only way you're going to find yourself is to rely on your friends to do that for you because if you don't lie, rely on your friends, you're just going to be caught lost. You can always rely on your friends and your family to help find who you are and where you need to go. So as we launch into middle school, what we thought we would do is this. What if we had a way to be able to launch all those ping pong balls at one time? So this is the ping pong ball cage of death, all right? <laughs> Jeff is going to pour some water into the ping pong ball cage of death. And that water is just going to help us heat it up just a little bit because we need to be able to do that. Good. And now, did you see that? A ping pong ball just went flying across the... Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So now... The next thing that happens is this, is that in a second, Jeff is going to take, with my help, some liquid nitrogen and we're going to put it in the bottle. And then we're going to cap off the bottle. We're going to put it down inside there. And then we're going to put you and 2,000 of your friends on top of that bottle. And that bottle is going to represent the summer. And that summer, the anticipation is just going to grow. And you're going to hear it inside go, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the little bottle is going to go boom. And you're just going to see a little puff out here. And, and some of the balls will fall onto the floor. Got it? Are you kidding me? It's going to be chaos, people, all right? So here's the deal. When this thing goes, and it will go, you will have, when I say go, after it goes, and, and don't move after it goes, because you just want to relive that memory in your mind of what 2,000 ping pong balls all dropping at the same time looks like, all right? I will say go, and when I say go, you have to go find your ping pong ball. My prediction is you will find your ping pong ball in under two minutes, and the only way you will find your ping pong ball is if your friends help you. If you find yourself lost looking around for your own ping pong ball, you'll be here forever. You must rely on your friends. Got it? Put your arm around the person on the right and on the left and say, all right, I expect your help. Got it? Got it? Got it? All right, you ready? Cover your ears. Here we go. I'm ready. Ah! 
Cover your ears. Cover. It's growing. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. You don't know when it's going to go, but that's okay. It just grows. It gets bigger. It gets bigger. Go get him! Some of them have been changed and altered for life. As soon as you have them, go find one of the parents. Miss Spangler is over there. Miss Klaus is over here. Oh, you look good. As soon as you trade it for a cool ball, go stand by the curtain so we'll know that you've got it. Go get them. Find your place to stand. Ready, guys? Everybody up on the stage now. Go, 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 stage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, nice. Eyes and respect, Dr. Cook is here and would like to say something to you. Hold on one second. Boys and girls, can you join me in thanking Steve Spangler for all the great work that he has done?